Hey guys, Rob Baldwin here, IMAX Productions, and let's take a look at the Select and Mask tool. Okay, so this is a great tool for doing really quick and very precise selections uh, in Photoshop. Great for if you've got a, a furry end or fluffy end like hair. We're gonna use a picture of my dog here. We're gonna select him out of the background. We're gonna put a new background in there. Really easy stuff, okay? So, here's the photo we're working with. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to select, select and mask. It's gonna open up a new dialogue and it's gonna basically put a red uh, filter over the whole thing. That red means it's unselected. So with the quick select tool, make sure the plus is there. And we're just gonna quickly draw around the dog and it really does a pretty fantastic job right off the bat of properly selecting. Next thing from here, but you can see it's not perfect. So some of the hair is not selected. Uh, so there's background. So we're gonna grab the refine tool, set the brush to whatever you want, make sure you're still on plus. And we're just gonna start drawing right over those edges where you want it to refine. So as you can see, it's pretty intuitive. It is selecting the hair. It is removing the green background grass. And we just wanna continue doing this all the way around the dog. So I'm gonna zoom in here. As you can see, it really, really does a pretty fantastic job of selecting just hair and not the background. Keep going. Going all the way down. Let's fast forward a little bit here. Fantastic, let's zoom back out. We've got a perfect selection, we're gonna hit okay. It's gonna close up and as you can see, it's, you can see it perfectly masked out the dog. So, let's grab another photo, photo we wanna put in the background. We're gonna paste that in there. Move it to where you want it. Place it behind the dog. Looks pretty good. What we wanna do now is just add a quick, uh, we're gonna put the dog into a group. We're gonna make sure the mask is is uh, on, the fo on the folder on the group, and we're just gonna add a quick uh, warming filter to do a bit of color correction on the dog so that he doesn't look too out of place. That's already looking pretty fantastic. You can blur the background a little bit, gauge and blur, give it a bit of depth of field. And lastly, you guys know I'm a fan of lens flares, so let's throw in a lens flare. So I just got this lens flare, I, oop, don't put it in the, in the group, put it on top of everything. Switch it to add and there's a lens flare. If you wanna learn how to make the lens flares, guys, I got a video that shows you how to make these fantastic lens flares using a great tool, okay? But that's that, so really, really quick uh, tutorial. We took a uh, photo, we used the, the selection mask, mask around the photo, and then remove the background, put a new background, really simple stuff. This tool is fantastic, makes the selection process a lot easier. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. If you have suggestions for new videos, please uh, comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. Don't forget to subscribe. If you aren't, hit that bell so you get notified when we do new videos. Uh, this is Rob Baldwin, and cheers. We'll see you next time.